Okay, so starting this video. Hi, Tash. Starting this video over because I open up my blue and because I don't take very good care of my stuff, the nib was completely blocked. So, took a long time to get something to sort of open that end up and then I figured, you know what, I'll just restart. But I did lay down some extender so the magenta didn't get too dry. And now I just need to find a nib. This is why I keep all of my old inks. Okay, here we go. So I'll just take a nib out of an old extender. Okay, here we go. Yeah, that's better. Okay, first color, magenta. So I'm doing a CMYK. Well, I might not be doing a K, but I'm doing a CMY. This is our blue, so that's our C, Cy, that's our cyan. Our magenta is actually a magenta. And our yellow is really a yellow. And honestly, I do not know what this is going to look like. This could turn out a little too rainbowy for my liking. We shall see. Only because I'm not going for a rainbow. I have nothing against them. But if you want a rainbow, do a rainbow. And if you want something that's going to look sort of like, kind of going with like a printer sort of vibe with this one, getting back to my roots here. That's brown. Still going with the same style from the last set. So blowing the air in the upward direction. Not a big fan of what is happening here. This is called mud. But it's fairly easy to get rid of if you know where your stuff is. Okay, here we go. Yeah, this is like a brownie mud. Mmm, pretty. So this is what happens when you combine the C, the M, and the Y. Grody. I just said grody. <laughs> Nerdy. That's a cleanup solution. I'm still not really caring for this one. This panel might get completely redone. Just alcohol here. Let's kind of do some effects up on the top. Maybe it'll kind of dissipate the ink a bit up top there. That might look cool. Paper towels. Also, question is, to gold or not to gold? So do I add some gold to this? Personally, it kind of could get by on its own without gold, but that might be kind of nice.
Oh yeah, that ink there, it almost turned into like a grayish black. So hard when you're working with these colors to kind of keep them a little bit separated, but it's worth it if you can try, because I think the results are nice from, um, from the C, the N, and the Y. So if you don't know anything about printers or color theory or anything like that, um, cyan, magenta, yellow, that would be what is in your printers. So either your color laser printers or your bubble jet printers. You can pretty much make any colors out of those. And then you add in your black and your black will give you the different tones like or the different values of those colors. So technically speaking, you could kind of make any colors if you just had these three inks, if you had the patience to sit there and kind of blend them out of it. Um, and you could do that on a palette or on a piece of styrofoam, or you can do it on your canvas, which is what I'm currently sort of doing. weird stuff happening. I don't know what's going on. Something in the inks or some, there's something where it's kind of going chunky and I don't know, it's not looking quite like what I would want. I don't know if you can see there's like, I think the light is kind of hitting it weird. I don't know, there's kind of some chunky stuff. Oh, thanks Ash. Well, I'm just going to keep working at it. I think I have 20 minutes from Instagram, right? Tasha, your mom is killing me on words with friends. She's so smart. She obviously has played Scrabble a bit more than I have in my life. Because I get on there and I come out with a 16 point word. I'm like, bam. And your mom comes out with like a 42 point word. It's pretty cute. I'm just gonna get rid of some of this chunkiness that's in here. I'm wondering if it's something that might be on the canvas because it doesn't seem to be doing this on the other two, so it could just be uh, maybe the primer is lifting a little bit. But I'm just gonna blend out these edges a bit so it's not so chunky. Hopefully my hair is not in the way. <laughs> Anybody else get a snow day today? It's kind of nice when that happens here. Just don't want it too pinky. going to clean this up to coral.
So yeah, this is the great thing about the inks. Is, I mean, I didn't like most of what was happening here, so it's going. I can also kind of see how I could do something cool with pushing the ink up that way. Maybe that's how this will end up, but I'm not sure right now. That's also the good thing about the inks is you don't know where you're going. You think you know, but you have no idea. And it just kind of wipes off. Hi, Color the World. I like that name. That's awesome. I think I just decided that the center panel here should be more of my yellow focus and then obviously my blue and then my pink. matter um it really doesn't matter if you don't want purple or not with these colors you are getting purple there's no way around it unless you did a layer and then you could layer resin and then do your other color on top of that um hello that's going to take a very long time but you could do it like that and you would get separate colors but purple is just Pink and blue. How are we doing here? Oh yeah, that looks kind of neat. Hi Kate. You got a snow day? Or an ice day? Keith had to go to work. Or Keith went to work. I don't know if he had to, but he went. I'm like, you're crazy. If you don't actually have to go. Why? Why would you do that to yourself?
not crazy about this part right here. I mean, it looks okay, but just really not crazy about it. How much time do I have left? No way to tell. So this part here, I'm just gonna, what do you call this? Just blot this out a bit. Just a little, some animal hair, not in this house. Very purple. What about some white? It can't hurt. I'll try it on this one panel that I'm not super crazy about and then see if that's something I want to do on the other ones. critics of our art because I'm sure at certain points in time everybody who's watching this has said Nikki stop <laughs> that's enough because I do that when I watch videos too
Okay, still alive, good. Hi, Daryl. Long time no see. <laughs> All right, I gotta jump in the shower very soon. So I can't, I can't do gold now, I don't think. But I don't think it needs it. Do you think it needs gold? I really don't. It's not really lending itself to that. It's not like a gold, you know, like a classy looking. It's more just like a fun, like, All right. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm done, Tash. I think I'm done. Maybe one more thing. Mm -hmm. This is how it always happens, people. This is how shit gets out of control. But I just, this panel, oh, there's always one for me where I kind of go, I don't like that one. But I like, I like the other two. But this one, I think it just needs to be less coverage on it. I think that's the only thing that's bugging me now. So almost if I could go back to canvas over here, that would be very cool. Also, very impossible to do now. A little late in the game. Oh, maybe not. Oops, sorry, I keep shaking the table. Okay, I'm done. I'm stepping away from this canvas. Do you see anything weird in it? Speak now, or forever hold your peace. Did I just say I was walking away from it? Hmm. 
Okay, I'm done. I'm really stepping away from it because I really got to go shower because I do have to go to work today. Have a great day.